You want to watch out for hypotension with CPAP. Now here's why. We're increasing the pressure going down in the patient's lungs, aka we're putting more pressure in the patient's chest. This pressure goes against what the body is used to. So what can happen is the amount of blood being returned to the heart, because there's so much pressure going on in the chest, at higher levels of CPAP, you'll usually see this happen, right? At a higher dose, just watch out for hypotension. So if somebody's already hypotensive and you want to give them a high level of CPAP, we got to weigh that out, right? Because it can become more hypotensive. So that's something that, that could be a contraindication, right? So follow your protocols on that. With CPAP, you need to have plenty of oxygen because CPAP's going to use a ton of it. So before shift, kind of make sure you have plenty of oxygen in the main O2. And quick tip for you, when you bring somebody in to the ambulance and you got to move to the spare oxygen, so make sure that spare oxygen has some oxygen in it. Bring a second cylinder with you and just stick it on the back of the stretcher because what if you're in triage and it's all backed up and then you run out of oxygen in the middle of triage. So put in a, a bottle there just in case the handover is can sometimes be time consuming. And what if they're vomiting? So let's say you have a patient, you want to give CPAP, but they're vomiting. Well, if they're vomiting, we're going to push pressure and they're going to aspirate and then vomit. So we got to deal with the vomiting first. So what can you do? Well, Zofran is a medication that we give in the ambulance. So consider giving Zofran to treat the vomiting and then coaching them with CPAP. Hope it works for you.